again, thank you so much for taking time to talk to me. I mean, I really do appreciate it. Uh, you're you're a busy man. <laughs> uh, yeah, no problem. It's been nice to um, see Monarch getting out into the world and get some feedback and talk to some people about it and see people's reactions online and stuff. It's It's been really fun. How far into the development of this series did you get involved? Um, pretty early on, uh, they reached out to me, I think previous to shooting the first episode or it was, they had either just started shooting the first episode or they were just about to start. So, um, I came on board and read a bunch of the scripts and, um, kind of had conversations with the showrunner and the producers and kind of got inspiration from then and just started creating music prior to seeing any of the visuals. Just, I just wanted to kind of create themes based on my imagination at first and then see how those developed, you know? Oh, I mean, like that seems super like uh, an interesting way of doing it just because I have to imagine it's easier for you as a composer to work given just like the sheer amount of music that has been composed over the years in relations to these you know monsters yeah I mean I wanted to kind of like we had a conversation amongst ourselves about the importance of maintaining the aesthetic of the monster verse that's been created in the previous uh, movies, etc., but also carving our own niche and making Monarch something unique within the monster verse. So um, that kind of gave me license to uh, sort of go out on my own and create my own themes and my own kind of sound and and take on things the the soundtrack that is available for people to listen to like it it sounds like a score but it also sounds as you alluded to like very different from i think what people might expect from you know the the previous installments in the monster verse um like it it has like this feeling like uh it, it sounds like something i could listen to at a club as much as i could listen to in in the context of this like what led you in that direction as opposed to like a more traditional orchestral score as has been used heretofore um, I mean, honestly, I think it was partly going back to that conversation before about making one art something unique within the MonsterVerse. I think that obviously there's been a lot of incredible music made, um, you know, going back to uh, Ikafube, you know, there's been so many amazing uh, musical iterations in the Godzilla world. But they've all kind of lent orchestral, and I just felt like this could be a good opportunity to kind of put a different spin on it and have um, something a little bit more electronic leaning. And, uh, and uh, you know, my personal feeling was that uh, having something electronic and aggressive underneath the Titans would be cool <laughs> so kind of that was it to put it very simplistically that was uh one idea that i had but also you know the thing with monarch is it's such a deep show in terms of human storylines and the amount of characters who are actually main characters that and what that means musically is there's a huge breadth of emotion that needs to be articulated within the music so it's you know as a body of work it isn't just electronic and aggressive you know with throughout the show there's a lot of kind of minimal 
piano stuff there's some strings even and, and there's a lot of kind of there's a lot of ground covered uh instrumentation wise um and then obviously you know creating the soundtrack i just wanted to kind of succinctly give the sort of bullet points of of the show if you will I get the feeling listening to it, it, it like the the electronic aspects sort of take the place place of that like very traditional sort of like Godzilla like brass. Um, it, it has that same sort of impact, but yeah, I get what you're saying. I want to say it's the track "Love and Titans" that yeah. really kind of encompasses everything you were just talking about, where it is very quiet, but then builds and. There, there's a lot go that's like something uh, a piece I've gone back to several times just because there's so much going on yeah I mean that's one of my favorites and that piece of music I think will you'll understand the context of it more as the show goes on I don't want to say anything about the story <laughs> but <laughs> but um yeah that was a fun example yeah I think I'm glad you highlighted that because it does sort of give a sense of the breadth of it you know you're going something from incredibly intimate and minimal and then by the time you get to the end it's just complete bombast <laughs> yeah, that's the fun thing about the show it's just anything you could probably possibly want to do as a composer you get a chance to do it in monarch because there's so much going on you know in line with that is it kind of fun to be able to jump between two separate time periods in that like it allows you to like use different modalities depending on like where we are in in, in you know the past or the present definitely yeah that was something that i had to think about musically like how do i articulate these two different timelines and give them their own sound and and it was a challenge. I mean, I think initially on a very, speaking on a very base level, it was sort of like, okay, well, I'll do more organic in the earlier time period and then more kind of contemporary electronic in the, in the uh, current time period. But that kind of got a little bit uh, morphed as, as, the development of the music went on and I think really it became more to me about establishing themes and themes that could cross the timelines and be uh, iterated with different instrumentation in the different timelines but still be the same melodies. Uh, for what is it like for you as as uh, uh, someone who has collaborated with so many folks, like tackling a, a series that is, pardon the pun, this big, like a, 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 as a uh, project on your own? Uh, it was super exciting. You know, it was really exciting to honestly just to kind of get the opportunity to make music underneath such an icon as Godzilla. I mean, it's really, you know, Godzilla is one of those things that I don't even really know how, but you could ask anyone from any country in the world who's Godzilla and everyone knows who it is, you know, like it's that level of uh, recognition. So uh, getting that call was super exciting and, uh, as far as doing it on my own, you know, like I kind of like, I go project to project and depending on what I think will be the most effective for that project, I'll do it in that way. And this was one that I wanted to kind of put my own stamp on it and kind of create this world uh, on my own. Um, but, you know, that's not always the case. Sometimes I feel like I would bring something better if I had uh, a partner doing it. And obviously I've worked with Atticus, as you know, over the years, many, many, many times. Um, and that's, you know, been more of a case of him bringing me in. Uh, and that's, that's great. And, you know, 
so I think going forward, I'll continue to do things in co collaboration and on my own. So you, uh, in, in addition to Monarch, you have um, an upcoming FX show, uh, Shogun, which also takes place like in, in the past. Um, is there anything you can talk to about that? Um, all I can really say about Shogun is that I'm very, very excited about it coming out. It's similar to Monarch. It was a very long process uh, uh, of being involved during the course of production. And it was a long production time. I think partly what the shows had in common was that they have a lot of visual effects because you know, obviously Monarch is dealing with the monsters and then Shogun is more about recreating this time period. But um, it's really an exquisite show and there's such a huge uh, attention to detail in the way that it's constructed, the directing, the cinematography, the visual effects, and the music. It, it really does look and feel so epic and also like nothing else. So I'm very excited for it to come out, uh, but I don't really want to talk about what the music <laughs> sounds like until you hear it. <laughs> Well, that's wonderful. Well, sir, uh, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to talk to me uh, about Monarch and everything. I really do appreciate it. This has been a whole lot of fun. Thank you so much for taking the time. I appreciate the questions and I'm glad you're enjoying it. <laughs>